I am so excited to be here today with one of our primary speakers for our live event in Orlando. If you haven't already checked it out, here is the QR code to go learn more about our upcoming live event, April 21st through 23rd, 2023. Becky Claybaugh, welcome. Oh, thank you, Kathy. It's so happy to see you. I am so happy to see you, and I am so excited to get to meet you in person in mm. Orlando and experience everything Becky Claybaugh. Yeah, it's going to be so fun. I know. I can't wait. You make me laugh so much, and I just have so much joy. It's great. Oh, yeah. You um, are just an ideal expert for our event because of your background, because of what you specialize in and help people with. So would you talk a little bit about um, your background and about your business? Yeah, sure. So I um, am Becky Claybaugh. It's it's pronounced like a Y. So you did it perfect, Kathy. And I um, am a Colorado native. So uh, gosh, I grew up here my whole life, obviously. And I really love um, people very much. My degree is in human services and health and wellness. And I started out in counseling and then I became a certified life coach and also a first degree black belt. So I'm really into the, the situational awareness in your business as an ace of a black belt. So I have a really awesome process that I take people through that I designed. It's the money magnet method. And I'll be sharing that with your audience when I come to visit. And we're going to discover the hidden money agendas. So we're going to find the subconscious bugaboos that are messing with your money and your business. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah. And I'm super excited about this money magnet method that you've developed because I don't know and tell me in your experience of working with business owners, um, do they usually realize that it is those hidden money agendas that is holding them back from the success they want to achieve? No, and that's what's so sneaky. That's what I really have developed in this process of when we have things that are triggering our nervous system, they're very subconscious. And there's a hormone that gets kicked off. It's that stress response and it's called cortisol. And it's a bugaboo for sure, because when it releases the cortisol, it makes us um, not as intelligent in our decision making. A lot of times it also creates weight gain because there's that, that hormone it releases that secretion in your body. That's it's, it's your body's trying to get out of a situation. So the bugaboos are designed um, organically from when we were born to keep you safe. And it's really difficult because our primitive brain is trying to keep up with the modern world. And we're scrolling, we're eating, we're over Netflixing, we're over drink, all the overing things to bring down those emotions that that's what the subconscious, that's what the bugaboos do. There are subconscious thoughts and also behaviors created in your mind to avoid a negative feeling about money in particular. Yeah. Oh my gosh. There is all of that. I love so much because Becky, I don't think you know this about me, but I built three six-figure businesses before I started this one. And then I started this one and got this one to six figures really quickly, my virtual mm-hmm. expert training program, but was stuck at, I was stuck at six figures for three years. And that's a long time to be stuck at six figures when you want to build a multi-million dollar business like I wanted to build. And I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. And finally, I met someone, um, a coach that I hired who knew some of the things that, you know, she didn't have the money magnet method, but she knew a lot of the things that you knew about this. And she said, it's your worthiness. It's your Mm -hmm. subconscious worthiness that doesn't feel like you're worth more than a hundred thousand a year. That's the only thing holding you back. Have you experienced that with others also? A hundred percent. You're talking about one of the six sneaky bugaboos. And that one, I called it the sucker punch. (laughs) Mm, And it's the sneakiest of all because it comes in as a blind side. And in your case, it continue, like continue to strengthen the work that you're doing that you've already done to remain connected and open with a new uh, awareness about that, the sucker punch that can appear. And three years is a long time, especially if you have a, a default of being impatient. 
and you've already oh, I do. From <laughs> How do you know that about me? <laughs> <laughs> I know because I'm an expert. <laughs> but what's happening there too is that the projections that you're just putting out there, the feelings in your body, I'm imagining was just like, oh my gosh, this is terrible. Mm -hmm. And um, the sucker punch, what we can do is really come to that place, regulate the nervous system because there's something, it's that set point. It's a tolerance in your subconscious mind, probably a paradigm from your parents or your grandparents or your neighborhood or where you were formed in your faith. There's something about that. There's a vow and it just keeps you at that place where you hit a financial ceiling and you can't seem to be able to push through it. Yeah, well, uh, the good news is that once um, I realized this, I went from in one year, 300,000, and then in the next year from 300,000 to 700,000, and then the next year from 700,000 to a million. Amazing. Okay. Once that <gasps> bugaboo, as you call it, yeah. was taken care of. Now, the other thing, though, that I've noticed is if I don't keep working on, and I'm sure you're going to give us tips and tools that we can use to, uh, I, I, I like thinking about those bugaboos actually as like a real bug that gets zapped. You know, that zapper in the summertime, that <laughs> the bugs, I'm going to think about it like that. <laughs> um, those bugs, you know, they come back. They do. They're not gone forever. And so yeah. you have to continue to use those tools to mm -hmm. deal with them is what I've discovered. Is that 100%. for me? Is that totally. typical? Yeah. Yeah. And I get so excited when I interrupt and I apologize for that, but that to me, my nervous system is all lit up and it's from that place of like, you nailed it. And so there's like the accountability piece in it because the tools and the tricks and things that I like to share with your audience for sure. And then with my own clients is it just takes a lot of practice. It's no different. If you want to get a six pack in your abs, you got to move the muscle, just like that making offers sales is like a new word for a lot of people, but making offers to help people, it starts right between your ears. That's it. Brain, the primitive brain thinks it's doing its job. And when you can come into these conversations, honestly, from a place of self, just of love and, and offering that if you really know what you do in your business, just like you, Kathy, you know, as the virtual expert for VAs, you know, your training is bang on. And you know, when people go through your program, they're going to get a result. Just like I know when people have a bugaboo in their money and the stories that they want to rejig, if they do the work, it's really amazing. And then have the accountability to keep doing the things when we get stuck because we're human. And I do too. You got stuck. And that's why we come together and we mastermind and we do the things that um, it just corresponds to the, the thoughts and the feelings that are bubbling up in your body to get the results that you like or the ones that you don't like. That's where it comes from. Um, so I've heard that a lot of the business owners tend to get stuck at the hundred thousand mark. Yeah. And then again, at the million mark, is that what you hear? Yes. I was going to just share with you over two and a half years. I have specifically been working with money and the mindset piece and managing and regulating the emotions. Cause I'm confident when your emotions are regulated, that's the secret sauce to making a lot of money. And it doesn't matter, Kathy, if you're trying <laughs> Let's go. It doesn't matter if you're trying to bring in an extra $500 or you're an extra thousand a month, or you're scaling 250 to a million. I'm working with a gentleman right now, and we're getting ready for him to scale because he's at a place. He has so much. The emotion he feels in his body is guilt and shame and embarrassment about having a second home in Mexico when he drives by homeless people in downtown Denver. He has a gift of compassion and a huge heart. But I was like, listen, when we get that figured out, when you push up, when you throw a pebble in the pond, it's a ripple effect. And Mother Teresa has this really great saying, and she says that it takes a checkbook to change the world. And so that's what we're working on with him. Oh, I love that so <laughs> much. And oh my gosh, I love, I didn't know Mother Teresa said that. She did. I, I I love, and, it, and that's true. I mean, you know, uh, uh, because I work with, like you do, a lot of women and a few men who have that level of compassion and they yeah. do think, but I want to give back to the world. And the best way to give back to the world is to make a lot of money mm -hmm. <laughs> so it that is. you have a lot of money and potentially time if that's what you want to give to give back. Yeah. To the world. yeah. Yeah. A lot of people have been um, raised in a paradigm. Like I said, it's either our, through our community, whatever our community is. And usually it's in your household, watching your parents fuss about money at the kitchen table. And a little kid is like, Whoa, money's scary. And we don't talk about it. That was the hidden rule in my household. My parents graduated from high school, high school, 
sweethearts. My sister came about an hour later, (laughs) (laughs) but they were teenagers and without any college degree, they just had grit and they had a thought in between their ears. My parents built a country club lifestyle with no, with just a high school diploma. My mom sold, uh, my mom sold real estate and my dad sold corrugated packaging empty boxes to like digital roll and hill at Packard, they would collaborate together and share their network. My parents made a lot of, my mom is still 78 and she still has a country club lifestyle. I love that so much. (laughs) I'm impressed with that alone. Yeah. So Becky, when people attend our live event in Orlando, um, what are they going to experience? Oh, it's going to be so good. What they're going to experience is we have a special little gift I'm going to give them. They can unpack and discover where their little hidden money bugaboos are. And so, like I said, there are six of them. So they're going to learn about, there's one that's called over investing. It's kind of interesting. Sometimes that can be a Hail Mary that you throw at a really high end coach thinking that they're going to like, there, this is it. This is the thing. This is the program. This is whatever it is. And it's like, ooh, that didn't work out so good. And then they have an investment wound. So we're going to talk about that one and what to do about it. The same thing with over-investing that can be from that place of just that relationship with debt and what that means to be really honest with yourself and get really clear about it. And then under-earning is another piece that we're going to be talking about. And then there's under-earning. Sometimes we don't even know that we're under-earning. And that's where we cut deals with people or we're like, oh, I'll give you a discount or I'll work with you at this lower rate or whatever. It's just that in order to increase your revenue, we've got to talk about that bugaboo of under earning. Also setting income goals. A lot of business owners, they don't even set goals. They don't even look at their metrics, Kathy, not even looking at their spreadsheets. Or not that even- was me <laughs> several years ago. It really was. I was too scared to look at those numbers and oh my gosh, did it damage my business? Exactly. And because it's like hiding, hiding in the sand or having someone else just do it for you and giving up that authority in your business. I think my business is like one of my children. We have three adult children. I'm very proud of all of them. And boy, I I will fight for them too, just like I will my business and coming to that place. So then the next bugaboo is saving money. No matter how much you have, Kathy, I want to hear what you think about this. When you looked at your your PL and all the things, and you looked in your accounts and your savings, whatever it was. Did you have a story in your head that it's just not enough, even when you were making seven hundred? No matter what it, oh my gosh, Becky, no matter what, it's not enough. Because after that year that I hit a million, the next year I only hit 700,000 and I, exactly. And that's what I heard myself saying to somebody in a mastermind setting. I'm like, yeah, I'm feeling really bad about myself because I only did 700,000 this year. And thankfully somebody there said, do you hear yourself? Oh, you're not celebrating that you are doing 700,000, which is, you know, very few female, especially business owners ever do six yes. figures, much less multiple six figures. That's so true. And coming into the, the, the paradigm of six figures, it is quite, quite, a, quite a, um, an experience. And then when you go into the place, we've talked about one of the bug moves already, the sucker punch, then you start saying things like somehow a sucker punch happened. And 700,000 wasn't enough or whatever it was. So that's a sneaky little bugaboo. And I love what you already unpacked is that it takes celebrating. And I love that you wear a tiara because that's the whole essence of what we should be doing every (laughs) day. I love it. And then the last one um, I wanted to share is about toxic money. And this Mm. one is very challenging because it really has to do with something that's very closely tied to another person or people in your life. It could be your, your partner that you live with, that you have a, your personal relationship with. It could be a boss. If you're a W2 earner in some capacity, could be a client y'all. And it could be just um, a coach that you might be working with too, but something there's a toxic money that's happening that you hang on to it just because of the money. There's negative memories and harsh emotions around it too, but there's a way to clean it up. And that's, what's really good about that's the good news is I'm going to be able to share with you guys. You're going to get to have an experience right then and there when you're feeling like, Ooh, wow emotional intelligence is a skill. I'm going to teach you how to get started with that and then to get regulated so we can calm down your amygdala. And when you get out there and you make offers with people, it's from a place of inspired, heart-centered, I'm here to help. Would you like help or not? That's what we're going to work on. Oh, wow. That is all so wonderful. I'm super excited to learn more from you at the live event, to meet you in person. (laughs) I can't wait. Give you a hug. See how tall or short you really are. Because that's, 
<laughs> That's the thing I find amazing because we only see like this part of us on Zoom. And when you meet in person, you're either like, oh my gosh, you're so tall. Or, oh my gosh, you're so short. <laughs> because you have this image of somebody in your mind and then you meet them and whoa. Right. I love that. And you know what's so fun about Zoom and actually finally getting to meet people? I I said this during COVID, and I think it was my way to cope with just like, oh my gosh, is this ever going to end? But you know, you just shared with me your cute little pets and your dogs, and you know how they're happy to see you and they lick you. And so I'm going to tell you, Kathy, when I hug you and I get to see you, I'm probably going to want to lick your face. <laughs> oh my God, I love that so much. I have to tell you, um, I really, I really like that. (laughs) That is like one of my hidden, uh, that is a hidden thing that I have not let out yet that I too really would like to lick people. And I have, I have forced myself not to do it to date. Oh my God. Yes. But, um, I have said to people before, I would really like to lick you. And they're like, please don't lick me. (laughs) I know I, my social, um, awareness is probably not, uh, this is just who I am. And I really love people a lot. And I can't wait to see you and, and your community. Yeah. Well, if you come to the live event, you're going to be able to give Becky a hug, give me a <laughs> hug. And if you want to be licked, <laughs> just let us know. We yeah, will not first. automatically lick you without <laughs> your permission. I promise. Right. Um, licking has not been occurring at past live events. This is our fifth annual, but Hey, it could become a new thing that Becky could actually start. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Oh, Kathy, you're, it's just a sign of love, right? Yeah. 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 Um, well, Becky, is there anything else that you would like to share before we close today? I would just like to share, remember that we're here to help people and just offer to help in a way that you feel really lit up about it. And, you know, just go confident in what you're doing as a virtual assistant, we need you. I could not do my business without people like you. So keep plugging in there and, and get out there and offer people. <laughs> yeah, um, they they won't know about you if you remain in um, freelance witness protection program. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Becky's going to help you escape. Let go of your disguise. Come yeah. out of the shadows. Oh, Becky, sure. thank you so much for sharing your time and energy and powerful information with us today. Yes, you're welcome. Thanks. And I look forward to meeting you in just a few weeks in Orlando. I know. I can't wait. <laughs>